Hey everyone, it's Donald. Hey, so we are currently finishing up this milk. I actually just clicked final dry again. It was already completed. It just completed not long ago, probably just a couple minutes ago. This uh, batch of milk was in 56 hours in the state fresh machine, 56 hours and five minutes to be exact. I clicked it again just so that way I can actually see that. The pump is actually off right now because it's uh, been completed. Uh, our shelf temperature is 103. The probe temperature is 107. And even though the pump's not on, our uh, vacuum is actually at 285 mTORs. So it's holding steady. There's no air really releasing at all. I'm just looking at it, still not seeing nothing. That's one thing I do like about the Stay Fresh machine is it closes off that. It doesn't have a chance of exiting all the air out of the vacuum pump like we've seen on some other companies. And I think it'd be a good maybe addition that some of the other companies might look at in the future. Um, but 285 still here while we're talking. I'm now going to end this because we're going to uh, look at it. Stop the freeze drying session. Yes. So we are turned off. I probably shouldn't have turned it off that way thinking about it. I probably should have just paused it so I could turn back on more dry time if I needed it. But it says our milk is done. So we'll come over here. If, let me get this over. If you guys have paid attention or seen on fixmyfd.com, uh, we just released something just like this. This is actually how you release your air into your chamber on the Stay Fresh system. Now, we just released this fresh air, the Felix Fresh Air system, for that's compatible with the Harvest Right system. So it doesn't go on this side. It actually, for our system, it will go on the vacuum hose side. And it actually will release a whole lot slower than this will. So after testing, it takes about two minutes to repressurize your system using our, our upgrade system on the Harvest Right machines. Because we take it to a slow micron, it slowly comes in to actually repressurize your system. We actually tested it using um, uh, almost like a wafer paper, tissue paper, tissue paper. And when we actually opened it, that tissue paper didn't even move. Okay. So um, that's how we're going to repressurize this. We're going to repressurize this system using the standard one. But if you use our upgraded system for the Harvest Right systems that are compatible with it, You'll see that even if you open it all the way wide, it's not going to go too fast because we have some restrictions that are restrictions that are built in there to make sure that doesn't happen. So we will just slowly open this. I only open it about that far. It uh, takes a little bit of time to repressurize. However, there's welds and everything inside this machine. And if you think about it, you're releasing a whole bunch of air into your machine and you don't want it to get all over your food. Um, the fresh air that I currently have in my garage, which is going to be the same air that goes on my food as soon as I actually open this up, is what's going in there. So do it slow. Don't do it all fast. Um, and you'll take that same air that you currently have in your garage, in your room, whatever, and that will open this wild open. This is already pretty much already open. So we'll twist this. It'll pop open whenever it's ready or you'll see it. So that being said, this was full of milk. You'll see it that it's got little crumbles already in it. It's not even all the way to the side because it's already dried up some. Seems like it's super dry. I'm gonna just put some spots on here. This is my top tray. Um, looks super flaky. Um, not seeing anything that would make me suggest this is not completed. It moves around like normal. The, that's the top tray. The bottom tray, the middle trays are the ones we always expect to kind of be done. And then this is our bottom tray here. So you'll see the gap that this milk was poured in the machine, frozen in the machine. So it was all the way to the edge. This is how much it shrunk with all the water and stuff that came out of it. And we'll do the same kind of testing. Definitely looks flaky, 100%. Um, let's see. We'll check down here as well. Um, 
looking flaky. I don't see anything that would suggest there's any moisture left in here. I mean, it, it looks just like flakes, if you guys can see this. So, 56 hours, it's it's done, like 100%. I would totally bag this up myself and call it a day. So, that is the milk run out of the Stay Fresh freeze dryer. So, I can pull these other ones out real quick if you guys want to see them. That way, obviously... There's your probe. That probe was inside this milk, frozen inside the milk, and it obviously just popped right out. So going again, flaky, not seeing anything that would suggest to me that it's not done. So that one looks amazing. And then this is our middle one. Once again, you'll see that there's a good chunk of spot flaky, nothing that's suggesting that this milk is not been completely freeze dried. So I think it's another win guys. So I'm going to do a little bit more testing with the machine, but honestly, I think I'm ready to make my, sorry. I think I'm ready to make my final review of both machines. I'll make another video of that, but Overall, super happy with the way we freeze-dried milk. 54 hours, if I remember correct. Uh, you'd have to go back in the video to see what I said the exact hours were. But overall, I don't think that's bad. Um, I froze the milk down to about 16 degrees, and then I started up the whole system. So it still had more freezing to do during that time, everything like that, because it wasn't frozen down to zero. Um, that's kind of how I just do it because I don't want to babysit these machines. It's just not, it doesn't sound like fun uh, at all. So but that's where we're at. So hopefully this milk run gives you guys a little example on what to expect if you're running a freeze dryer, uh, the Stay Fresh freeze dryer with the probe uh, inside. So while I froze, I just dunk this down in, let it do its thing. So you guys take care. Have a great day. Please like, share this video with people that you might know that are looking for freeze dryers. This freeze dryer is an excellent freeze dryer. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, freeze is quick. Definitely, I like the probe. I like how it tells me how much time's left. There's a lot of pros to this machine. So, but if you guys are interested, as I said, like the video, share the video with people. There's gonna be down in the down in the description down here a link to actually purchase this machine. And also there's a $50 coupon code, which is fix my FD. And that's your $50 coupon code. It'll automatically take $50 off the price. So my only suggestion is to go with that bad boy of a pump. Okay. That's the industrial pump. That's about 800 bucks. So you're looking about $3,800 for the stay fresh machine in this configuration, which is the only configuration they currently sell. But I would purchase the industrial pump. You only have to change it. I think it's at every 40 times. Uh, and that's probably the longest pump I've seen. This pump's going to get a lot of testing done to make sure it can actually hold up to what it's expected. However, she looks like a beast. So I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a great day. Don't work too hard and enjoy the rest of your weekend.